Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 12th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a last quarter moon, third quarter moon, Monday, October 17th, so you got to get out in the early morning to catch that. The large complexes of sunspots that we're pointing towards Earth and giving some nice shows at night in high latitudes are now rotating away off to the right. Again, the um, sun rotates different speeds at different latitudes, but it's about once a month. Uh, looking at drought, things are getting better in Colorado. Take a look at the areas here in the southwest and even up in the uh, northeast droughts backing off on the uh, all those locations and in the western slopes it's it's good news so uh, drought free in this big strip through the mountains and south nationally uh, things are a little worse in the south not much change in the west for rainfall most of it happened in the southern uh, counties this last week and it's going to look the same for the next week for severe weather uh, well, there is some down here in the southeast, so that might help with water supplies there. Look how high and dry we are in the west. With nothing on Wednesday, Thursday the front is sweeping further along. Friday it's almost exited the nation in the east, and everything's quiet. That's going to be a theme here. So there's the low near Dallas. Yesterday's gusty, dusty uh, cold front is now all the way down into uh, west Texas and entering Mexico. Another reinforcing little shot there. Uh, cooling things down, but bone dry. There's our rain in the east. It moves up to the further to the east and then out. And we are just high and dry in the west. So this interesting little low down here near Yuma. For smoke, just very light amounts of snow, smoke Thursday, Friday, kind of settling down with the uh, clean air coming from Canada. So our normal high temperature is dropping very rapidly from 67 to 63 over the next 10 days, getting us not quite to Halloween week, but getting close. 38 to 35 for the nighttime low, and oh my goodness, just almost nothing precipitation-wise, just almost nothing happening at all. So here's our water vapor satellite from Tuesday, yesterday. You can see the front coming through, and then today it's sweeping all the way down with dry air down here moderate moisture but not enough to make much maybe i see some clouds in the sky so the highlights of the next 10 days seven days <coughs> as this northwest flow sweeping over us most of the time so this interesting cutoff low feature down here that's got to reconnect with the jet stream and then get replaced so this is friday at noon and then sunday that is moving out it's trying to get into the flow here and mainly causing rain and thunderstorms to our south. We are in north, uh, northerly flow, dry air in northern Colorado. And then for Tuesday, another low comes in, starts spinning in the southwest, big ridge over the west, but we still have north flow here. So let's put it in motion C, keep an eye on this little low down here, rotating around. And by the weekend, it finally starts to move, and yeah, Arizona, northern Mexico, New Mexico is going to see some rain. Southern Colorado will catch some uh, precipitation. Uh, that kind of merges in and it goes as a new one comes down to replace it. It's just an interesting pattern. And overall, northwest flow, bone dry, remains for us. Here comes that low. It tries to reconnect to, and it goes a little more northerly path for a week and a half from now. You can see the cold front that just swept through, heading down into the southeast. And another cold front moves down on its heels. A little bit backs up into Colorado, cooling us down on the eastern side of the mountains. Here we are to October 17th, 18th. Lots of cool air for the east and south, but we are only getting grazed by it now and then. For precipitable water, it is pretty much dry. We get some moisture coming in as this low ejects. It moves up into Arizona and New Mexico. You can see it's moisture. You'll see clouds. It'll, it'll get cloudy. It just won't be much. And there's that next low comes down another ribbon of moisture 
uh, settle this up over California, but it's just not going to be for us. So we do have a little tropical system down in the southern Gulf. Shouldn't affect the U.S. Uh, just kind of petering out down there. There's our cold front sweeping the rain and thunderstorms down. Here's the second reinforcing one as the low comes out of the southwest. Pretty good precipitation event for New Mexico and Texas and northern Mexico and like that. But again, bone dry up here. We'll keep this going as we watch the next low rotate in and then reconnect. You can see here it comes moving up through southern California. Nevada getting some nice rain, Utah as well, but then it just kind of doesn't make it into Colorado. So for the next five days, very dry across the state. Next 10 days, the southern counties get some uh, central mountains, but that's about it. So 70s, and then the cool front knocks us back to the 60s for Thursday. We warm up for Friday, back down for the weekend to the 60s with very little chance, I'm giving a 15% chance of a stray something and some clouds at the end of the weekend. It just isn't much to highlight. Taking a look at ENSO, this is the uh, El Nino Southern Oscillation Index. We've been in a La Nina for a long time. That's given us this drought in the West, uh, or at least contributed to it. And you can see it's actually predicted over the next year. This is April, May, and June next year. Uh, going back to neutral, maybe even next Christmas 2023, like maybe we can get a El Nino going, get a lot of precipitation. Last time we were in El Nino, we got Colorado completely drought free. Not even one square foot was uh, even slightly stressed. So, you know, hope and wait. So, check out Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader for frequent weather updates and lots of local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.